Hello everyone! So in this video, we are going to discuss Polly's problem solving strategies. Okay, so he's one of the foremost recent mathematician to make a study of problem solving was George Polyas. So he was born in Hungary and moved to the United, United States in 1940. So the basic problem solving strategy that Polyas advocated consisted of the following four steps. So what are those? First, understand the problem, devise a plan, carry out the plan, and review the solution. So here are the four steps in order to solve a problem. Understand the problem. So before anything else, understand the problem, have a full of graphs of what are known and not known. To help you understand the problem, consider the following. First, you restate the problem in your own words. So mas maigi na i-translate natin in Tagalog para mas maintindihan nyo at malinaw sa inyo kung ano ba yung sinasabi ng problem. Another, can you you can determine exactly what is for. So you are going to um, identify what type of problems it is. Is there a missing information that, if known, would allow you to solve the problem? Is there extraneous information that is not needed to solve the problem? So, extraneous information that is included in the problem na, tala na hindi naman dapat uh, natin pinapansin. So, parang pampagululing yung extraneous na yan. Okay? And what is the goal of the problem? So, ano ba yung dapat nating hanapin? Ano ba dapat kunin? What we're going to solve, what we're going to find, or may hinahanap ba tayong value? So, that is uh, the first step. You need to understand the problem. Pangalawa, devise a plan. So, to devise a plan, so, Paul just mentioned that there are many reasonable ways to solve problems. So, the skills at choosing an appropriate strategy is best learned by solving problems various problems. So, applying strategies to devise a plan requires skills and own judgment. Some strategies are as follows. So, ito yung mga possible strategies na pwede yung gamitin or method in order to solve the problems. First, make a list of the known information. Next, make a list of information that is needed. Draw a diagram. Make an organized list that shows all the possibilities, uh, solutions. No? Make a table or chart. Work about backwards or this working backwards. Try to solve a similar but simpler problem so that you have a pattern to solve the given problem. Look for a pattern. Write an equation. If necessary, define what each variable represents. Perform an experiment. Guess at a solution and then check your results. So, pwede tayo dito mag-trial and error. No? Guess and check. First, another step is carry out the plan. So, here are now you're going to apply the strategy that you made. So, kung ang ginamit mo is to list, to have an, make, to an organized list, to have an organized list, or you have an equation, or you can guess and check. So, it's up to you. So, depend is a problem. Okay, so in carry out the plan, so after devising a plan, the next logical step is to carry out the plan. So, what are those? You need to work carefully, especially your solution. Keep an accurate and neat record of all your attempts. So, para uh, you have an idea. So, ito, in Kung meron kang records, at least tahan ng mga possible solution na gagawin mo at nagawa mo na at di tama. So, pwedeng you can try another uh, attempts. Realize that some of your initial plans will not work and that you may have to devise another plan or modify your existing plan. Kaya mas maganda na marami kang uh, possible entry na sinasabi, no? Para kapag hindi nag-work dun sa isang solution, so you try the another one. Next, review the solutions. 
So Paul is mentioned that much can be gained by taking the time to reflect, examine, and look back what you have done, what worked, and what didn't. Doing this will enable you to predict what strategy to use to solve future problems. If this relate to the original problem. So this one, so uh, maari mo siyang gamitin if you can encounter in the future with the same problem. So you need to ensure that the solution is consistent and within the facts of the problem. So you need to check the result in the original problem. Interpret the solutions in the context of the problem. You need to find out if your answer makes sense or is, is reasonable. Ensure that the solution is consistent with the facts of the problem. Next, ask yourself whether there, is, there are generalization of the solution that could apply to other problems. So you need to determine whether there is another method or finding the, of finding the solution. If possible, you need to determine other related or more general problem for which the techniques will work. Find out if there are generalization of the solution that could apply to other problems. Okay, what again, what are the four steps? First, devise a plan. Uh, first is what? Understand the problem, devise a plan, carry out the plan, and you need to look back or review your solution. Okay, let's have an example number one. A baseball team won two out of their last four games in how many different orders? Could they have two wins and two losses in four games? So applying the four steps of Paulius problem solving strategies, the first one we need to understand the problem. So ano ba dapat? So ano yung goal natin sa problem to identify the orders kung saan meron tong dalawang panalo at dalawang talo yung ba baseball team. So, there are many different orders. The team may have won two straight games and lost the two, oh, let's say the order is win-win, loss-loss. Or maybe they lost the first two games and won the last two. Uh, like in the order loss-loss, Win, win. Of course, there are other possibilities such as uh, win, loss, win, loss. Okay. So, we need to devise a plan. So, what strategy or what uh, appropriate strategy yung possible na gamitin natin in this kind of problem? So, we can use an organized list. Okay. We can use an organized list. So, we can list the possible orders. Okay. Possible sa umpisa... Sa unang laro nila, yung dalawang game nila, nanalo sila. At yung pangatlo at pangapat na game nila, na doon sila natalo. Or pwede rin na sa umpisa, nanalo sila. Sa pangalawang game nila, talo. Sa pangatlo, panalo. Sa pangapat, natalo sila. Or in this order. Uh, sa umpisa, nanalo sila. Yung pangalat pangatlo, natalo. At sa pangapat, panalo sila. Or in this uh, order. So, in that, uh, in your observation, we have six orders. Therefore, if we're gonna to, uh, if we're gonna check our answer, if this is correct, the list has no duplicates and the list consider all possibilities. Wala nang ibang order, no? May naisip pa ba kayong ibang order? Wala na. So, therefore, there are six order in which baseball team can exactly two out of four games. Okay, another problem. Uh, let's have another problem. So, again, our solution here is there are six order in which baseball team win. No? Can exactly two out of four games. So, wala, may win dapat dyan. Okay, another. For example, number two. In a basketball league consisting of 10 teams, play, play each of the other teams exactly 3 times. So, how many league games will be played? So, yan ang titingnan natin. Alamin natin kung ilang league games ang magpiplay. So, first, understand the problem. So, 
what do you uh, what can you say about the problem there are 10 teams in the league and each team plays exactly three games against each of the other teams so the problem is to determine the total number of league games that will be played okay so what is the appropriate strategy no using the polis problem solving strategy ano kaya ang pwede natin gamitin so we can use this strategy in working a similar but simple problem so we can use the similar problem considered with only four teams so for example apat na teams lang ang maglalaro since four teams can play so since each of the four teams will play a game against each of the other three we might conclude that this would result 4 times 3 is equal to 12 games. However, so we have a representation here. However, the diagram shows only 6 line segments. It appears that our procedures has counted each game twice. For instance, when team A plays team B, so ito yon is also B plays Team A. So, isang game lang yon, Okay? To produce the correct result, we must divide our previous result. So, kanina, di ba? Uh, since may apat na team, then multiply it by 3. So, we have 12 games. Pero doon kasi duplicated na yung A, B, saka B, A, isang game lang yon. So, therefore, we need to divide. So, 4 times 3, that is 12, divided by 2, that is equal to 6 games. So, may anim lang na games dyan. Next. Using the process develop, develop above, we see that 10 teams can play each other once. So, in a total of 10 times 9, that is out of, divided by 2, we have 45 games. Since, each team play its opponent exactly 3 times. The total number of game is 45 times 3. That is 135 league games will be played. So, by using the similar problem, we can uh, solve this kind of problem. So, to check, so we can make an organized list. Okay. We're going to check if, one ha uh, if our answer is correct. So, let's consider this is the 10 teams. So, A, B, C, D, A, F, G, H, I, and G. So, yan yung sampung team. Okay, in the first row, so, A can play with B. Okay, so, in the second first row, we have 9 games. In second row, we have 8 games. 7 games in the third row and 6 games in the fourth row. And 5 games in the 5th row and 4th games in the 6th row and 7 games in the 7 games we have 3, uh, no, seven in the 7th row we have 3 games and in the 8th row we have 2 games and 1 game for the ninth row. So if we're going to add this, this is 45. And sabi, and sabi don, each team, no, each team you're going to what? You're gonna, uh, Play each of the other teams exactly three times. So, if this is 45, we will get to multiply it by three, and that is 135. Next, determine the digit 100 places to the right of the de decimal point in the decimal representation, 7 divided by 27. So, alamin natin yung pang 100 place, uh, 100 digit. If we're going to divide 7, divided by 27. So first, express the fraction 7 over 27 as a decimal. And look for a pattern that will enable us to determine the digit 100 places to the right of the decimal point. So what strategy we're going to use? So we can make a table or we can make a table or look for a pattern. So in this uh, case, uh, but uh, we can look for a pattern. So try we we dividing twenty seven into seven by long div division or by using calculator it produced the decimal zero point two five nine two five nine two five nine. So as you can see at na observe nyo na na uulit at na uulit lang sila. So start in two five nine. Pagtapos ng nine 
babalik ulit sa 259. So, ito yung pattern ng decimal natin. So, here, meron tayong 9 decimal places. So, ang pang sham na decimal places natin is 9. So, ano yung pang 10? 2. Tama? So, dyan pa lang, makikita nyo na yung pattern. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang pang 10 ay 2, ang pang 20, 2 din. Ang pang 30, 2 din. Hanggang sa makarating kay sa 100 places. So, hindi nyo na kailangan ilista yung pagkasunod-sunod ng number up to 100 places. So, uh, matrabaho pa yon. Dito pala makikita nyo na, ah, so ang pang 99, ibig sabihin yung pang 99 places dyan, 9. So, ang pang 100, 2. Kasi after nung 9, ang kasunod na digit is 2 na ulit. So, therefore, by using the pattern, we can tell that the 99 decimal digit is 99. And that, and that is divisible by 3, correct? So, it must be 9. So, since at 2 is always polished at 9 in the pattern, the 100 decimal digit must be at 2. So, using the table can illustrate additional pattern. So, hindi ko na ipapakita sa inyo yung table. Malinaw naman, no? Malinaw naman na ang, kas, ang pang 100 places is 2. Another example, the product of the ages in years of 310 ages is 4,590. So, none of teens are the same age. What are the ages of the 10 ages? So, first, we need to understand the problem. So, we need to determine three distinct counting numbers from the list. So, when you say uh, distinct, no, that will be from 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that will be our... Uh, given uh, ages of the teenagers. So, that produce a product of 4,590. So, ano ang una natin gagawin? Of course, we need to what? Pwede tayo dyan, may, may, pwede tayong gumamit ng guess and check. No? Mag-guess and check tayo. Since the product is 4,590, we are unable to solve this equation, but we notice that 4,590, so ang last digit natin ay 0, it ends in 0, so hence 4,590 has a factor of 2 and a factor of 5. And also, which means that at least one of the number we seek must be an even number, and at least one number must have 5 as a factor. So, from the given, no? Isa lang naman dito, that is 15. So, 15 na. Kasi kailangan yung one of the factor natin ay merong 5. Kasi 0 to. So, therefore, yung 15 yung isang number na. The only number in, one, in our list that has 5 as a factor is 15. Thus, 15 is one of the numbers and the, at least one of the number must be an even number. So, kung ang isang number natin ay 15, so, ang isang number doon dapat even number. Okay? So, meron tayong even number dito, 16 and 18. Okay, we can check now. We try to check. If we can just use 15 times 16 times 18, that is 4,320. At malayo pa yan doon sa product na 4,590. So, we can try another one. 14, uh, 15 times 16 times 19, that is 4,560. At ang 4,560 ay malayo pa sa 4,590. We try 15 times 17 times 18, and that is 4,590. Yes, so ibig sabihin, the three ages of the teenagers that can produce a product of 4,590 are 15, 17, and 18. So, because 15, 17, and 18, if we can multiply, that is 4,590, and each of the ages represent the age of the teenager, therefore, the solution is correct. Okay? Example number 5, a hat and a jacket cost $100. The jacket costs $90 more than the hat. What are the cost of the hat and the cost of the jacket? Understand the problem. So, after reading the problem for the first time, you may think that the jacket costs $90. So, kasi ang sabi dun, the jacket costs $90. Mo, pero may nakalagay dun na more than the hat. And 
the hat cost ten dollars. So the sum of this cost is one hundred dollars, but the cost of the jacket is only eighty dollars, more than the cost of the hat. So we need to find the two dollars amounts that differ by ninety dollars, and whose sum is one hundred dollars. So first, write an equation. So in this uh, problem, we can represent in two variables, no? Pag mga ganitong problem, pwede natin i-represent into variables. So, we can represent H as the cost of the hat. No? H plus 90 as the cost of the jacket. So, sabi daw, uh, the cost of the hat plus the cost of the jacket is equal to $100. So, if we're gonna add, H plus H plus 90 is equal to $100. Or, we can simplify, that is, 2H plus 90 is equal to $100. So, lipat natin si 90 sa right side. So, that is 100 minus 90 and that is 10. Divide both side by 2. The answer is 5. So, so ano ulit yung H natin? That is the cost of the hat. So, therefore, uh, yung presyo ng hat is $5. And then, yung H plus 90 natin, so, kung kukunin natin, that is... 5 plus 90, that is 95. So, yung cost ng jacket is $95. And then, kapag chinek natin, that 95, the price of the jacket is 90 more than the hat. Okay? Okay, I'll give you the last example in this uh, video lesson. One number is 7 more than another. So, twice the larger is equal to 4 times the smaller decreased by 2. Uh, medyo complicated, no? So, isa-isahin natin. So, find the two numbers. So, dito, uh, magre-represent tayo ng variables. Kagaya nung sa example number 5. We're looking for two numbers wherein one is more than another and twice the larger is equal to four times the smaller decrease by two. So, we can represent x as the smaller number. And then, x plus 7 is the larger number. Okay, so we can represent that. So we can use this equation. Sabi daw, ano sabi dito? 7 more than another and twice the larger. Ito yung twice, yun 2. The larger is equal. Okay, again ha. Bakit ganito yung equation natin? We represent x plus 7 as the larger number kasi sabi one number is 7 more than another. Okay, so ito yun, ang x plus 7. And the smaller number is represented as x. Ang sabi dito, uh, 7 more than another and twice the larger. So, ito yung larger number natin, x plus 7, twice. So, minultiply sa 2 is equal to 4 times the smaller number. So, ito yun, 4 times the smaller number since x is represented as smaller number, decrease by 2. Kaya may minus 2. So, we can simplify that. Uh, the equation, so 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times 7, that is 14. So, positive 14 is equal to 4x minus 2. And we can uh, combine similar terms. So, lipat natin si 4x sa left side. 2x minus 4x is equal to negative 2 minus 14. So, si 14, nilipat natin sa right side. So, negative 2x is equal to negative 16. And divide both sides by negative 2, our x is 8. Okay? So, ano yun? So, yung smaller number natin is 8. And then, yung larger number natin is, so, kung x plus 7 yun, so, 8 plus 7, that is 15. Okay. So, one number is 7 more than another. Correct. So, therefore, 15 is 7 more than 8. Twice 15, which is 30, is 4 times less 2. So, the two numbers are 8 and 15. I hope you learned something from this uh, video lesson. You can uh, share your comment in, in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.